then also Darvin Ham start Rui um, sooner yeah. rather than later because I don't know why you wouldn't start Rui even if they know you would hope and you start Jared Vanderbilt I I don't know how you make that I love Darvin Ham I think he did a great job all season but some of it going on right now I'm a little questioning I mean really is are we not going to blame LeBron 38 year old LeBron not me personally for fucking taking like this shit dude there were so many games where all he had to do was just back down the post okay people say that as if as if he's not backing down Mr. Aaron Gordon do you know what's the actual body. problem do you guys know what the actual problem with the Los Angeles Lakers is you want to hear it you want to hear it right now transition defense they're basic they're basically breaking the number one rule in basic transition defense do you guys know what that is to stop the fucking ball, okay? Yeah, you they cut off the ball for cut off the ball first, and everybody else fills the lane. Booyah! You fucking stop the ball, fill the lane, dude. They literally look like they're like, like it's like a punt coverage sometimes. It's like soccer. They're they like look like the Celtics. Center. It's like no, it's like they're, it's like the dude with the ball is a fucking defender. They're just letting the defender dribble the ball up. That's what it feels like. It's like yeah. fucking soccer. Like you're nobody to, steps the ball. Yeah, like, you're supposed to stop the ball. Then everyone fucking closes the uh, passing yeah. lanes, and you just you stop. They they don't do that. They're the worst transition defense in the league by like a historically almost like by a wide margin. Okay, it's like one of the most inept things I've ever seen. They can't stop the fucking ball in transition and then the other problem is is they have not been able to figure out the jamal murray michael porter jr pick ball screen pick and roll situation where it's michael porter jr setting a screen uh pick and roll for really it's pick and pop pick and pop for Jokic, or even a for Jokic or jamal murray so then it's basically either jared vanderbilt and lebron in that sequence or you know dennis schroeder and lebron or you know etc and what ends up happening is that if you commit to the this either the guy that's rolling or popping, they're switching too late, and that leaves Jokic or Jamal Murray open. But then if you don't commit to Michael Porter Jr., Porter Jr. is just gonna pop, and he's so tall that if you don't, you're not there, you're too late. He's just gonna shoot over you, and they've not been able to figure it out. Personally, if I was in that situation. Uh, the way I see it is you have Jared Vanderbilt on Jamal Murray, which they haven't really been doing. And I know it's because of the offense. And then I don't even know what you – I don't even know. Like, the thing – Because you're – this isn't even talking about the whole fucking Aaron Gordon Jokic pick and rolls that they have. Aaron Gordon's fine if you just leave him out in the three-point. You dare him to shoot. They just – the whole thing is, is that, like, do you try to – for you at this point, the beat the Nuggets, that, which seems – which is basically impossible at this point. You're going to have to – Force them to score inside, take away their three-point shot, and then you have to dominate the inside of the other side of the floor, which, which they have not been doing. Yeah, I think AD's done a great job. But yeah, it's, come on, AD's done ever. great. AD 35. and Rui, AD yeah. and Rui have been yeah, great. Start Rui, just start Rui, and that, that's what you're talking about with like pick and rolls or just ball screens, like D'Lo and Schroeder. Schroeder specifically, this guy is getting flamed, even on just cuts. Like, Schroeder's getting worked around right now. And their defense in general, the Lakers' defense in general, is, like, super sloppy right now. Their offense is super sloppy. But, yeah, you can't go, like, over – you can't go under a, a Jamal Murray-Jokic screen if you're the guard because Murray's just going to pop it. But then if you have Vanderbilt in there, well, Vanderbilt's going to play – he's going to score you two points on offense, and they're going to let – Jerry Vanderbilt actually do anything he wants, even if it's just a couple of layups that they miss. So, yeah, you have to stop Jamal Murray. He's averaging 35 a night. Jamal Murray's been the best nugget. How do you stop history. Jamal Murray? Um, I would start Rui Hachimura, and I would get D'Lo on the bench immediately because I, the, Darvin Ham, Darvin Ham's doing a horrible job. Oh, yeah, because D'Lo's like that fucking video. I don't want to upset D'Lo right and now. get his confidence down right now. Like, what, this is playoff basketball. This is the NBA basketball, man. You, you, you got to know your role. And if you're not knocking down shots, you're a trash defense. D'Lo's a liability right if he's not scoring. Yeah, 100%. Like, he's like that one video of that one guy who's like, I ain't going to lie, I'm getting cooked. That's what it feels like watching D'Lo on defense every possession. Like, Dude, oh, I, God, I saw D'Lo. Dude, I was watching D'Lo when there was still a chance for the Lakers to get back in the game. I think AD got two. Re so D'Lo shoots a three, misses it. 
D'Lo gets the rebound, passes it. Uh, uh, AD gets the rebound, passes it to D'Lo. D'Lo shoots it, misses it again. And I think a third time in that possession, D'Lo gets the ball again and misses it. And I was like, man, what? Like, come on, D'Lo. D'Lo. He started the game with a make, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, okay, this is D'Lo's game. He's this fine. is the third pointer. Yeah. Nope. He's had uh, one double digit game, and it was like 10 points. It was game two. Is this so. a mental thing? Well, shooters I mean, are going to miss, but. I don't, he's crumbling, players crumble, um, Kyrie wouldn't, that's why you gotta go get Kyrie now, but I, I just, I don't even know, Reeves has done a phenomenal job, Rui's done a phenomenal job, AD's done a phenomenal job, LeBron's 38, like I know LeBron, if LeBron's giving me 23, 9, and 8, like I, I'm gonna have to take it because that's still a great stat line for year 20 LeBron James, but I mean, they're cooked. And the Denver Nuggets are a great basketball team. And I, the media is so annoying about it. Like, people are hopping on the Nuggets' dicks and, like, blah, blah, blah. You know, they're the overcorrecting. So, they're they're it's, overcorrecting. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, they're okay, yes. Because they didn't talk about the Nuggets much. Like, because in, after the Lakers lost game one, everybody talked about how the Lakers were fine. So now they're just overcorrecting by, like, oh, my God, the Nuggets are really good. No shit they are. They were the one seed in the fucking West. Yeah. Well, of course they're good. Like we know, Like, we know that the Nuggets are good. We're surprised by how bad the Lakers are playing, not how su- how surprised yes. how good the Nuggets are. Like Lakers are playing like doing. dog crap. I mean, they're playing so bad right but now. Like shit and, they had, for me. and it's at the end of the game, as always, as it was all regular season, it's like the Knicks. Like every regular season game of the Knicks, it was tied with six minutes left. Well, in the case of the Lakers, it's you have the lead and they're about to blow the lead. And it happened all season, Russ or no Russ. So, I mean, they're cooked, and it is what it is. But re-sign Rui, re-sign Reeves, bring in Kyrie, fill out the bench, and you'll be, you'll be perfectly fine. 